Riverside PD came upon suspicious activity. There was a vehicle involved and investigated further in the back seat of a car was our little friend here. We first heard about Holly in the news. It appears as though she had been stolen from a dairy farm when she was only a few days old. And we're rooting for her to have a happy ending, so we're thrilled to be here today, teaming up with Farm Sanctuary and the Riverside County Animal Control to take her to a sanctuary where she can live out her life in peace and hopefully encourage other people to help animals just like her by ditching dairy. On dairy farms, cows are subjected to a constant cycle of artificial insemination and then having their cows stolen away from them within hours or days of birth. They're often kept in filthy conditions, forced to produce up to four and a half times as much milk as they naturally would. And then they're sent to slaughter to be ground up into hamburgers. Where is she going to spend the rest of her life instead? So she's going to uh, temporarily be at uh, the Farm Sanctuary Acton location. We have a 26 acre sanctuary there and then we'll get her all healthy and we'll send her to a new life at a new sanctuary. <laughs> We are always involved in positive live outcomes and certainly this seemed like a win for everybody involved, especially for the calf. So we're very pleased that we were able to get together and have this moment. Wherever she ends up, we know that she's not going to be subjected to the cruelties of the dairy industry. She'll be an ambassador there for other animals just like her, showing people how smart and loving and joyful cows can be. All calves, especially this young, are about the same. Uh, they're all cute. Cows feel pain fear and joy just like the dogs and cats we share our homes with. So we hope that people who were rooting for Holly to have a happy ending will realize that they have the power to help animals just like her by going vegan.